Advocates who want to see the end of plastic straws say it will save the environment. But some people with disabilities say they depend on straws every day. Local 22's Spencer Thomas met with one Vermonter who isn't happy about any changes. Most of us drinking directly from a cup or a plastic straw doesn't really matter. But for some with disabilities, drinking out of a plastic straw is their lifeline. So coming specifically to issues like straws and cups, raising a glass to my mouth isn't really a practical um, alternative without assistance from someone else. Zach Schmoll is a Vermonter with type 2 spinal muscular atrophy. He understands the argument that the plastic straw band will save the environment, but says those with disabilities are being forgotten. Even though the disability community is a minority and the ones that really rely on straws like myself, it is a minority. It's certainly not an insignificant minority. Executive Director of Vermont Center for Independent Living tells us why straw usage isn't just a convenience, it's a need. For us, it's really around um, there are people who just um, need straws to be able to suck um, versus um, be, can't drink. You know, they might not have use of their hands. There might be limited um, issues within their um, their bodies to be able to, to drink other, otherwise. So Zach says simple trips to restaurants won't be as easy. If I didn't bring someone with me with the intention, oh, I can handle this myself, I'll have a straw, I'll, I'll be fine, and now I'm there, what, what am I going to do now? <laughs> Paper and metal straws are the new alternative. The ones that I've experienced and I know other people have used simply don't hold up. At the end of the day, Zach hopes for one thing. I think that whenever making these decisions, we have to consider everyone and the impact it will have on the entire population. Spencer Thomas, Local 22 News, Barrie. The Vermont Center for Independent Living plans on putting out a statement about the ban later this week.